What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and we got Kiara back by popular demand from the iPhone 7 Plus portrait mode. But this time, where's my phone? We're gonna be using the iPhone 10 and taking a look at the improvements and how well Apple's actually improved the portrait mode and how well these cameras work out. And we're just gonna take some shots. I don't think we're gonna to be too scientific. I'm just gonna hold a DSLR. Uh, I got the 6D, it's a full frame camera. Last time I got flack because I was using a crop sensor camera, but we got a 50 millimeter on this and this is roughly around a 50 millimeter. It's like 56. I heard it was 52 now, I don't know, but we're gonna go out, take some shots and see what we get. You excited? Hell yeah. Kind of cold today, but it's also not that cold. She's cold, but I'm always on fire. Anyway, let's do it. One looking off towards the building. Three, two, one. Hold that pose. Hold that pose. Yeah, three, two, one. Tilt your head a little bit on an angle up. Yeah. Okay, so there's quite a bit more bokeh in that shot. Putting colors and image quality aside because all I did was balance the white balance from the DSLR to match the iPhone. Basically, there's more bokeh in the DSLR if the iPhone is trying to emulate an f2.4 aperture. Okay, let's try this bench right here. I'm thinking like, if you're sitting on the end of it, we can shoot like straight up through here. I don't want to overuse these trees, but they look pretty nice still. It's like the last remaining fall leaves that we have. Wait for that guy to leave. Three, two, one. Hold that pose. Bring your right arm up to close to your chin, sort of like under here. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, up until this point, you're probably pretty impressed and so am I, it looks awesome. Um, in this shot here, they look very similar, but if we zoom in close, you have to look at the detail and obviously a DSLR at 20 megapixels is gonna outshine 12 megapixels. All right, let's see how this thing handles some backlight. I have no idea. Actually, I think because it has HDR, it's actually doing it pretty good. To bring the exposure down a little bit because your hair is overexposed. Yeah. Three, two, one. Now I'm gonna try it with the DSLR. It's probably not gonna be as good. We have like sun flare in this shot. Three, two, one. So I was really impressed with this shot here. This is actually not a very easy shot to take. It's backlit and the iPhone has HDR, so it does a good job with shadows and highlights, but especially with the hair. In the old portrait mode I tested, it would never do that good a job with the hair. And the bokeh looks really nice and smooth. So your left arm, I wanna block the sun off the side of your hair with your arm. All right, so in this shot here, I was super impressed. Uh, it actually looks really, really good. I'd actually almost say the iPhone looks a little better as far as color tone, but if we zoom in here a little bit, you can see there's kind of a messed up edge around her elbow, and that's kind of where there was some highlights, and I guess the iPhone didn't really know what to do there. We'll switch over to the DSLR, and you can see what I'm talking about, the highlights on the elbow. Definitely there's a lot more detail in the 6D, which is gonna be obvious, but uh, yeah, it looks really good. So taking a look at the front facing camera here using portrait mode, uh, only the iPhone 10 can do this right now out of all the iPhones. And I'd say it's not amazing. Uh, this scenario is kind of tough because it was backlit, but sometimes I can't really figure out the background. So 
So along with the new front facing portrait mode, we also have some beta options for lighting conditions. Uh, you can change it from contour light, stage light, natural light, different things like that, and it'll actually change the lighting on the subject. It's in beta, so it doesn't really work that great. We also have this new option now as well to cut a subject out of the background. And in this situation, we're using stage light. It takes a little while to compile it, and I wasn't super impressed with how it looks. All right, so taking a look at low light portrait mode, because this is something that didn't look too great on the original iPhone 7 when I tried it out. And in this, it actually does a really good job. It's doing some processing to remove noise. But uh, yeah, look at those bokeh balls. They're actually really good. I do find though that in low light, you have to be a lot closer to the subject before it figures it out. We're only using some light from Starbucks right now to light her face. But uh, I was actually really impressed with how this looks. All right, so we just got finished taking photos with the iPhone 10 and the Canon 6D, and I obviously showed some of the images on the computer, but from what I can tell on the screen, they actually look friggin' awesome, and I'm super impressed. It can't replace a DSLR, but it's getting super close, and it's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> but it's pretty wild. Like, I'm really impressed with the portrait mode now compared to on the iPhone 7 Plus. Apple's done a really good job. And we also have the new portrait lighting modes, which are actually pretty cool, but I don't really see too many people using those. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Were you impressed? Yeah, I'm really impressed. Like compared to last year, it's crazy, it's right? It's insane. Yeah, so anyway, uh, if you want to follow Kiara's social media, I'll put links all over the place. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Do what she's doing. I'll see you in the next one.